This might be the best barbecue I've ever had. What's up, P Nation? It's another gorgeous, well, not really. It's raining a lot today, <laughs> so we are not gonna be able to do what we wanted to do and showed you around the island of Shargao. Yeah. So instead, we're gonna go try some Filipino barbecue mm -hmm. and hopefully see some surface on cloud nine. We yes. don't know, because it's raining today, but. So the place we're going for dinner, we actually had recommended to us by a local Filipino lady we met yesterday as we were buying Halo Halo for the first time. <laughs> so we're going there tonight to get some barbecue. First, going on a motorbike to go to Cloud Nine. So we've made it to what we think is Cloud Nine, but I haven't seen any surfers yet, so we will find out if anyone's actually here surfing. So to enter the pier, you have to pay 50 pesos, which is only a dollar. So we got two tickets, that's 100 pesos, not bad. This has got to be really, really low tide. Like, really low tide. Kind of interesting. Yeah, this place is so much bigger than I thought it would be. Like, a lot more surfing activity going on. As you can see, that's like a watching area. So you can sit there and watch all the people surf. It's like decked out. This is crazy. Level one. Level two. Level three. For those of you who don't know what Cloud9 is, it's a top 10 place in the world to surf because the waves here are amazing coming right off of the Pacific. And it is the number one surf spot in all of the Philippines. Continuous waves. This place is really devoted to the surfing culture. I feel like we've like been a part of the surfing culture before and like this is the mecca. Yeah. This is complete surf culture. Everything's devoted to surf shops. You'll see surfers with their boards everywhere. Every bike has like a surfboard like attachment to it so you can ride with your surfboard. It's really, really cool. It's very reminiscent of when I was in the North Shore in Hawaii. It feels like that. Yeah? yeah. What's also just crazy about this whole thing is that this is like volcanic rock that is slowly going out to the ocean. It's been here for thousands of years and the waves are coming straight off of the American coastline. What we've also found kind of mind boggling is like when we look out, the other side is America. What? Like we're on the very opposite side. We went all around the world and these waves are coming in the same ocean that America shares with the Philippines. It's just really crazy. Oh, I kind of wish we got here sooner, but like I said, it was raining like crazy today, yeah. so I did not know it was going to be this clear. Not a good day. <laughs> That's okay because this this sunset has been absolutely beautiful even though we're on the opposite side of the island It doesn't go over the water in the distance over the island. It's absolutely beautiful oh, yeah. Especially with these palm trees like mm -hmm. springing up. It looks awesome. Yeah now. We're really hungry So it's time to get some mama's grill oh. Okay, so we're going to a place called Mama's because we want a Filipino barbecue. However, they were sold out of literally everything. Everything. So we've come to another place, I don't even know what it's called, <laughs> in hopes that they have barbecue. Change of plans, the wait there was a long time. <laughs> I guess people love Filipino barbecue, which we did not know. So this means we have to start earlier tomorrow when it comes to getting our food. We know this now. Okay, now time for plan C. I haven't on a swing in years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have sea log, which is comprised of garlic rice, a fried egg, and some type of meat. So we chose longanisa, which is just these little short sausages. 
this looks really good. Silog is an, a traditional Filipino breakfast. It's comprised of two different words, sanangag, which means garlic rice, and itlog, which means fried egg. So put those two together, they call it silog. I don't know what's in the sausage. But it's like kind of sweet. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how to describe the flavor. Like it's it's really, really good. Maybe some garlic in there. Mm. That is the most garlicky rice I've ever had. This is chicken sisig. And you gotta stir and it. And it like reminds us of chicken fajitas, looks so good, and you have to stir it up because there's a raw egg on top and the, the plate is sizzling. So you gotta like make sure it gets cooked. Sisig is a traditional Filipino dish and it's usually made with like parts of the pig head and like chicken livers and stuff that like nowadays we don't really enjoy eating. But it's still a really popular dish because it's served on this like sizzling platter with a raw egg and you have to like stir it and stir it and stir it. It's a lot of fun. It reminds us of fajitas, and it's gonna taste so good. But this time we got it with chicken. Doesn't taste like fajitas, but it's just as good. It's like an Asian-y version of fajitas, where it's got some sweet soy sauce and peppers. You gotta watch out because there's some hot peppers in there. It's a winner. Again, I got a banana shake, which I will say, I started with chocolate banana shake. I don't like eating regular bananas, but I think by the time I get back from this vacation, I will actually be able to eat regular bananas, thanks to all these banana shakes. Filipino barbecue is like highly regarded, and every place that sells barbecue is like absolutely packed. So we found a place that has some chicken barbecue, and my first impression was like, this might be the best barbecue I've ever had. I'm not even just saying that just because like it has so much flavor in the meat, not just on the outside. I think it's like cooked over like a wood fire or something like that, a wood fire grill. It's got sweet and salty, like soy sauce dressing or a marinade on it. It is really good. It's the looking barbecue. It tastes like home. It tastes like the barbecue my dad makes. So maybe that means I'm half Filipino. That was amazing. We are so full now. I'm so glad we got to try all of the things. Breakfast, yeah. lunch, dinner, <laughs> and a shake. We got a full plethora of Filipino foods. All They're Filipino all foods. delicious. Hey, night. <laughs>